Hello everyone and welcome back. We're back on Legends Rewritten and today I'm going to show you guys where all the special bosses spawn. Alright, so there's plenty of bosses in this game. Some of them are just basically like NPCs and they'll just spawn. You'll know where they spawn, alright? They spawn in the same place at any point in time, alright? They'll always respawn and stuff like that. Others, however, other special bosses, such as Elsa, uh, No Dryer, and Flame Dragon, they spawn at certain times of the year, alright? Like, and I'll show you guys where they spawn, because they tend to be the ones people have trouble finding. So, first up, Let's look at Elsa, alright? She supposedly spawns in here. In the mansion. Alright. It's on this side of the map right here, the Margrave Mansion. Alright. So yeah, level 75. I haven't fought her yet, but this is where I was told she spawns in. I don't know when she spawns, but yeah. She apparently spawns here, and it'll tell you when she spawns. Alright, that's the bosses I'm going to be. The bosses that where it says, this boss appeared, and then, it, yeah, this one. And, yeah, that's the No Dire. Right there. And I can't see. And, yeah, there's someone here that's, like, instantly killing them, so, um... Yeah, I'm not really going to be able to show you guys the fights, but, um... Yeah, this is where No Dire spawns, alright? Yeah, that was actually a perfect demonstration, alright? So yeah, No Dire will spawn here at the mansion as well, alright? Next up, Flame Dragon. Alright, so... The Flame Dragon spawns here in the Heights. Now, I don't remember exactly where it will spawn, but it does not matter. Because it literally flies... It will literally fly around the Heights, alright? It will just fly around, landing in different areas, and you have to go to each area and fight it until it dies, alright? So, yeah, just basically come to the Heights. You'll eventually find it unless someone, like, insta-kills it. So yeah, Flame Dragon will spawn here. Now the Headless Horseman, apparently he was only a limited event. Alright. So, yeah, I don't think you'll be able to find him. I don't think he'll spawn anymore. Now, we're gonna skip these for a second and talk about Kurito. Because he also spawns here in the Heights, alright. He actually spawns... So, you got the entrance right there. So... Alright, here's the entrance to the heights. Alright. Right here. All you gotta do to find him, drop down. He'll be, like, right in this area. Right here. Alright, this is where Kurito spawns. Alright? Just right here. Okay. So, next up, we got Mikal, which spawns in right here in... The Mystic Forest, all right, like right in this area, you'll you'll be able to see him. Free stuff. I really gotta sell a bunch of crap, but anyway. So yeah, apparently the soup, the legendary Super Saiyan boss also spawns here in the Mystic Forest. All right, this dude, the legendary Super, he spawns in around here. So next up is the Meliufus boss. He spawns in this area, right here in the floating islands, which if you don't know is like right here. There's a bunch of floating islands in this area. And yeah, basically just he'll spawn around here. Apparently he will like counter automatically counter any attacks you do somehow 
I don't know. This dude's getting annoying. But whatever. Not like he can hurt me. I'm immune to his attacks. Just trying to throw me off. I'm trying to record here, bro. It's not like I could take him and fight, because, like... I'm, like, not even level 40 yet. But anyway... So yeah, this is where Meliuphus spawns. And then the last of the special bosses that will spawn in, like with the whole label and everything, is the Limitless Sorcerer, which is actually kind of unique. You need to go to World 2 and get something called a Jail Cube. Alright? And since I've been watching Jujutsu Kaisen, I now know what that's referencing, but yeah. You need to go to World 2, Get the jail cube and then fight him, which at least that's what I've been told. Alright, you just drop it down whenever you're ready to fight him. But yeah, apparently that's the only way to face him. Anyway, so yeah, that's all of the boss's spawn locations, you know. And yeah, you can always check their level here in the drops. So yeah, I hope this helps. I hope this has been at least somewhat useful to you. If it has, please be sure to leave a like. Hit subscribe, and yeah, what's up my friends? Sayonara.